Hello and welcome. Before I show the footage of Aurora Sky, I'm going to talk about Aurora Sun. I thought on the day this news got released, the stock would skyrocket, but it did the exact opposite and declined 5% for the day. This kind of behavior is why the stock market is very unpredictable. This is very similar to what happened when Aurora acquired Padanios. Instead of skyrocketing the stock, it declined all the way down to the sub $2 levels. The way to trade the cannabis stock is to try to find a good buying point. Be patient and don't get too greedy. On April 16, 2018, around 10 p.m., Aurora Cannabis Incorporated announced it's acquiring approximately 71 acres of land in Medicine Hat, Alberta, where the company intends to shortly commence construction on a new high-technology hybrid greenhouse cannabis production facility. To this end, the company has signed a memorandum of understanding with the City of Medicine Hat concerning terms and a general understanding of potential transactions including a prospective 10-year 42 megawatt energy supply agreement. I will try to sum up a memorandum of understanding as short as possible but it might be a little bit lengthy. An example of this is a promise on paper that you're going to do something, a gentleman's agreement if you will that is non-binding. This is your word that you're going to do something and the memorandum of understanding usually includes loosely what, how and when something will be started with room for changes along the way. When it actually comes time for you to make good on that promise, you then follow up by hammering out all the details and sign an actual binding contract. Medicine Hat's status as the sunniest city in Canada with more than 2,500 hours of sunshine per year at 1,200,000 square foot over 21 football fields, the footprint of Aurora Sun will be 50% larger than Aurora Sky, a 100,000 plus kilogram per year Health Canada licensed facility the company is completing at Edmonton International Airport. To date, Aurora has approximately 280,000 kilograms per year of funded capacity. With the addition of Aurora Sun, total capacity will increase to over 430,000 kilograms per year. Aurora currently exporting to Germany and Italy with a combined population in excess of 140 million intends to supply additional European medical cannabis markets now coming online and will devote a significant proportion of its increasing production capacity to export the company's high quality cannabis products into these undersupplied high margin markets. The facility being planned will measure 1,200,000 square feet and will have the potential to expand up to 1,500,000 square feet. The actual growth space will be 850,000 square feet, larger than the entire Aurora Sky facility. They are predicting construction of Aurora Sun to be faster than Aurora Sky's build time. The estimated timeline build for Aurora Sun from start to finish will be somewhere in the third quarter of 2019. Aurora's management decided on Medicine Hat after scouting various locations across Canada because of the longest hours of sunlight across Canada, low cost electricity prices, power, gas, water and sewage utilities. I am now going to quote Terry Booth, CEO of Aurora. Aurora Sun exemplifies our cultivation and production philosophy focused on purpose-built, high-technology, highly automated facilities with industry-leading efficiency resulting in ultra-low production costs to ensure robust margins in all our markets. We have significantly differentiated Aurora from our peers by investing in and rapidly building the world's most advanced model of cannabis production on a mass scale. We believe the Aurora standard of cannabis production represents the most effectively replicable and scalable system to establish a successful global footprint. We are grateful to the city of Medicine Hat which has proven to be very agile, capable and proactive partner in making this project possible. We look forward to establishing ourselves both as an important local investor and employer with more than 450 full-time jobs anticipated and a significant impact on the local economy for years to come. If Aurora manages to sell 430,000 kilograms per year, this would equal to $3.5 billion of revenue per year which is almost $1 billion per quarter. I knew something like this would happen. Aurora owns a building named H2 Biopharma. That building, located in Quebec next to the Pierre Elliott Trudeau International Airport, is sitting on 46 acres of land which they do not own but has a right to buy out for $136,000. I'm surprised that Aurora didn't just buy up the 46 acres of land and start up construction. Thanks for watching. 
This is going to be the last animated video for a while because I'm going to be focusing all my efforts towards creating a stock market mastery coin. Please enjoy this footage we took of the Aurora Sky facility. There has been a big update since the last time we visited the site. Please subscribe for future updates. If you dislike this video, please give me a thumbs down. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and have a great day. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.